Uh, welcome to the outdoors. It's Monday, and you know on Mondays we do our auto-centric uh, show out here in the garden. Automatics, sorry, our automatic uh, show here in the garden. And I have Ayo Shofela with me. Uh, today we're going to be talking about uh, how best to tow your, to tow your vehicle. Uh, there's a way that you're supposed to tow your vehicles, and you're just going to be telling us, uh, demonstrate, giving us a demonstration exactly. here today. Uh, so where do we start from, Ayo? Okay, the first thing we need to do is locate where the towing point is on the car. Mm. We usually have one in the front, one at the back. So right. we'll start with the front. Okay. Now on this car, it's actually here. You can see this cover here. You can peel the cover Absolutely. off. Take yeah, the cover off, okay. Off. Then this is common to all cars. You have something like this. So most like cars this. will have something yes, like this inside. For the front. Right. So you just take this and locate where you put it in. I think I'll be able to, yeah, it's in, and then just screw it in. So you screw it till it gets to the end. Right. And then you have the proper points to tow the vehicle from. Mm. You have to make sure it gets all the way down. Okay. Then so you attach the towing uh, hook to this. A hook to it. Yes. And then, of course, somebody has to be sitting in the, in the exactly. car to navigate now, it. Now, what I really want to address is the proper way to tow it. We have mm. the point where you tow it from, but not all cars can be towed with the four legs on the ground. Mm. Not all can be towed with the front raised up. Not all can be towed with the back raised up. Yeah, but I've seen I've seen a, a number of um, instances where. Um, some cars are raised slightly mm -hmm. and when that happens you then see that the bumper is uh, is bent a little exactly. bit. Exactly, that also comes into play. Usually for some cars that have very fragile bumpers, you see them um, remove the bumper before they start towing. Right. But that's not even the part I want to go to now. Mm. This car you're looking at is what we call a front wheel drive, which mm. means all the power is in the, in the front. front right. The tires are the one, the front tires are the one moving the car. The back is more like dummy wheels. Mm. In a car like this, if you tow with the front wheels down, you run the risk of damaging the gearbox. Wow. Because it's an automatic gearbox. This does not apply to the manual. Mm. This only applies to automatic cars. If you tow with the front wheels down, you run the risk of damaging the gearbox. So very, very important and very key is to ensure, so even if you put the car on neutral. Even if you put it on neutral, you still run the risk of damaging the gearbox. Reason why is that the gearbox is an automatic gear. A lot of, you know how the fluid works inside. Mm. Now when the wheels are turning, the engine is not running, which means that there's a pump inside that pumps that fluid around the gearbox. Mm. If the pump is not working, the fluid is not circulating around the gearbox. So the gears that's are running, dangerous. friction is happening. Mm. You can find out that you tow it from one place to another and then the gear just packs up. Wow. And you'll be blaming the mechanic that mm. the mechanic did work on the car and then the gear is bad. But in the real sense of it, it happened from towing. Hmm. It also so that's applies. a key thing that exactly. people should pay attention to. Uh, don't to just tow the, the car. You, you need to know the, the, what kind of wheel drive exactly. it is and whether it's a two-wheel drive or a four-wheel drive. Exactly. Okay. Now, that applies to the two-wheel drive. Now, there are some two-wheel drives that are rear, like the BMWs, some Benz. Their cars are rear-wheel drives. You mm. cannot tow them with the rear wheels on the ground. On the ground. So in that case, you're meant to lift the back up. So it, then, it should then be... The back is off the ground. The right. front is rolling. Hmm. In this one, you lift the front off, leave the back on the ground. Nothing hmm. is going to go wrong. Wow. And when you have a four-wheel drive, if you don't have a mechanic that can disconnect the propeller shaft, you're meant to lift the whole four legs off the ground. If it's a four-wheel drive. Exactly. That's where the flat So most beds, SUVs and the rest exactly, of them. Exactly. That's where the flat beds come into play. So you see people carry the car totally off the ground onto well, a that's more expensive. <laughs> it's more expensive. So if you drive a four-wheel drive, obviously, if that, the car has to be towed, it's significantly more expensive than exactly. if it's just one other car dragging Except it. you have a mechanic that can go in there and then disconnect the propeller shaft. If he hmm. does that, you can tow with the back, um, with the front up and leave the back down. Hmm. Okay. But okay, if you so don't have a mechanic, you just have to carry you it. You have to carry for the so for a four wheeler, you have to pick up pick the it entire up on the, flat bed. the entire vehicle. But if the car is a, a two, front wheel a drive, front wheel drive, you make sure you, you raise the front up. wheel to exactly. protect the gearbox, mm -hmm. and then you can just roll from roll behind. from the if back. It's a, rear if it's a wheel drive, drive. You lift the back lift up, the back. leave the front down. Okay. So, but most of the time, a lot of times, how do you protect the car itself? from because now you i mean you've, you've clarified this issue of the gearbox mm -hmm. how do you protect the car itself from the bumps well it, that um 
lies on the towing um, company. They're supposed to have people who would actually remove the bumper. Mm. A proper towing company is supposed to remove the bumper. But what you see nowadays is they have a tire attached to the back yeah. and then the tire is squeezing Supp the bumper exactly, and everything. Exactly. You're actually supposed to remove the bumper from the car. Mm. Or if you have a very good towing company that has proper towing vehicles, not the constructed ones we yeah. have, they have a way of lifting it that the bumper doesn't even come in contact with the vehicle. Right. Okay. So because that that's the main thing. Usually, sometimes when a car is towed, you then find out that you, the problems of the car have been complicated exactly. just because it was moved from one location to exactly. the other. Wow. It's uh, the, these uh, these uh, pieces of information that you're giving us, especially with the with regards to the gearbox. Mm -hmm. Most people don't think most about that. All they know. just want to do is, especially just when the car breaks car. down, you just want to move it from exactly. there very quickly. But now that you're giving us a little bit of indication of what we should do, uh, it's really really important, and uh, it has enlightened us this Monday morning. Thank you so much, Ayesha, for joining us. That's We're heading back to uh, the studio now with TT. Okay.